hello, hello, and hello, my brothers and sisters. Um, I have a uh, message and I have a word that I want to help someone in, and um, and this particular is it's an act. It's one of the the works of the flesh, and it's worse than it's worse than a loud person. It's worse than so many bad acts. And what it is, the word that I'm going to talk about, the spirit, the mindset. The attitude that I want to speak about briefly is a busybody. A busybody. A busybody is someone always busy meddling in people's business, meddling, trying to bring confusion, trying to disrupt. Listen to this. A lie with the, the intent to bring harm, to, to deceive, to hurt, is wrong. It's your motive behind. It's not, it's not what you say. But it's the intent and the motive behind what you're saying. You, you can't hide behind scripture. You can't hide behind word and not consider your action because uh, the two has to the two has to agree. The two has to agree. What is your motive behind? The scripture says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. And so this one particular spirit, the busybody. The busybody is someone who 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 who, who lies. A whisperer, someone who tries to disrupt. As a matter of fact, in Proverbs, the sixth chapter, it talks about Proverbs, the sixth chapter, on seven things that God hates that he considers that are a abomination. And and one of those things, uh, one of those things is that a feet that are swift to sow mischief, to sow discord, to sow discord among the brethren. To, to say something, to do something, to disrupt something, a unit, a unit, something that's flowing, something that's together. It could be a marriage. It could be a business or whatever it is. When when a person or when people come with with a malicious purpose, with a malicious purpose, with the intent to break up, with the intent to to destroy, and in the midst of them destroying, hide the hand, throw a rock and hide the hand. And the plot is to pick up the pieces after things have crumbled. Sir, ma'am, God hate that. And that's one of the spirits that God is purging is that mouth. Even Miriam ran her mouth against Moses, her own brother. God wanted to kill her. Moses had to plead for a life. And instead, God struck her with leprosy and they was out of the camp for seven days. This camp was held up for seven days because of discord because of talking out of turn, because of saying things out of your emotions instead of saying things that are right. There are a lot of things that we can say out of emotions, but what we say out of emotions may not necessarily be right. This is why the scripture tells us to be swift to hear and so to speak. And so the busybody, God is after you. He's removing you. He's exposing you. Is that all right? God bless you. Woo!